So in this problem, for what value of the constant c is the following function continuous everywhere? So because it's a piecewise function, we can see that the only discontinuity could occur at x equaling 1. So x equals 1 could be the discontinuity. And the logic, what we're going to be using to answer this problem are limits. So the limit as x approaches 1 from the left side of g of x has to be equal to g of 1. And that has to be equal to the limit as x approaches 1 from the right side. So plus. If this is true, and only if this is true, then we can say that the actual function, when we graph it, is going to be continuous. So, using this sort of equation here, we can figure out what constant we're going to need for c. So let's just dive in a bit more into that. We know at the left side here, we have a limit going from the left side of 1. So x is approaching 1, but it's also going to be less than 1, because it's always only going to be approaching 1, never actually reaching it. So we look at our piecewise function and we see that whenever x is going to be less than 1, we're going to be using this, this form or this piece of the function, cx. So we just write down cx here. And then we check for the right side. As x is approaching 1 from the right side, it's going to be greater than 1. And never actually approaching 1, but it's going to be always greater than 1. Which means we use this portion of the piecewise function right here. So this would have to equal x plus 2c. And now it's just a matter of solving this function. So now if we substitute 1 in for the x, we will get this equ equivalent to 1 over 1 subtract 2, which equals negative 1. And that is going to be our c value in order to get this function to be continuous everywhere. We just need a c value of 1. Now, if we were to actually graph the function here, this function right there, with a c value of 1, it would look something like this. Notice here that at x equaling 1, only with the constant of having c equal negative 1, can we have a continuous function. Notice that there are no breaks here. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will do my best to answer your questions. And I do hope you're having a fantastic day.